And here we go again. A friend of mine recently uh, pointed me the, in the direction of a uh, image viewer, which uh, I thought may the group may find interesting to look at. Um, it's called Fastone Image Viewer. Um, we'll just go to the website and see if we can download that. And it's F A S T S T O N E Image Viewer. do a search on Google for it and it takes us to a website called faststone.org and it's um, it's more than an image viewer it's um, it's quite a, a good bit of kit now with all image viewing packages and uh, photo enhancers etc it's very difficult to make a choice on which one is good for you which one will work best for you I've downloaded this one and installed it it's a simple installation there's no um, fancy bits nothing to be worried about um, so I'll fire the program straight up this is uh, basically what you see as your um, desktop picture um, just very briefly I'll just click into um, my computer and and we'll have a look at um, some of the photographs I've taken. If I click on there and find my photography, what? There we go, my photography. And um, we'll have a look at uh, some of the pictures and see how easy it is. If I just click on uh, any of the sites here, there's a photo shoot away went out on last uh, last year, January last year actually. Um, but this is so easy to use if I double click on the first image and I'm using the middle mouse wheel here and I can go right through the photographs one at a time very well beautiful um, quality of the image portrayed on the screen loads and loads of again one of the first things I did notice about this program not only the quality of the pictures is portrayed if I take my pointer up above the pictures and take them to the top it shows me all the little thumbnails of all the pictures that we have got here and I can go through them and I can do comparisons and um, flick between the ones and twos and have a look see at which is uh, the ones I'm trying to find it's really good uh, good way of looking at your photographs if um, it's easy as well if you're searching for a particular photograph and you can't think what it's called when you took it you just know it's there um, it's very easy to nip through all these pictures one literally one at a time last year's carnival yeah there we go so loads and loads of um, easy ways to use the or easy ways to view images that's where I'm going to stop looking at pretty pictures just tell you a little bit about this program it's more than just an image viewer if we go to the file menu um, we can download photographs in it we can do screen captures um, we can acquire images from a scanner if we've got a scanner set up at all we can uh, we can use that by pressing control and B um, in the edit menu um, we can edit it with an external program I think I've said many times that I use PaintShop Pro for my uh, basic program uh, well I can click on to that program from this one without any confusion at all I can select normal mode I can rectangular select mode circular select mode uh, freehand so I can actually pick out certain bits freehand if I want by using the mouse um, I can rotate pictures to the left right horizontally vertically straighten up and rotate by degree so if you've taken a picture say of the seaside and the sea is sloping downhill it doesn't take a lot in this particular program to show you how to straighten out the sea. Um, you can change the canvas size so if you want to do a collage using many pictures then uh, it's easy to do. You can also set the um, the dots per inch on a photograph so if it's normally taken at uh, one particular um, level you can change that. Um, this is uh, print size 64 by 48. Um, we can change that if we wish instead of being 72 pixels per inch or dots per inch uh, we can up we can lower it we can do many things uh, in there 
so it's not just an image viewer um, we can uh, crop a picture we can cut out the bits we like um, we can clone a picture and uh, sort of get the usual uh, blurred edges off etc it's also got red eye removal so if you've been unfortunate and take a photograph using your flash and you've got somebody's eyes lit up like Dracula then uh, you can actually put those correct and also add comments to JPEGs which is very handy sometimes color wise we can go to the color menu at the top here we can adjust the colors um, we can adjust lighting, we can adjust the colors, we can adjust the levels of saturation etc. We can adjust curves and make them straighter, we can sharpen the picture or make it more blurred. We can reduce the noise on a picture, the spots if it's an older picture you've taken or um, you just want to get rid of some of the rubbish that sometimes come across on a photograph, you can do that in this picture. We can reduce the colors, we're down from 256 8 bit colors, we can take it right down to 2 bits, which will look like that. Um, not the most impressive sight, but no, we don't want to do that. No, we don't want to save the changes either. So we're back here again, that's okay. Um, Got to be careful with some of these programs. Um, so we can reduce the colors, we can count the colors in a picture. There is 98,931 colours in that particular picture which is showing at the moment. Um, then we can turn it to grayscale, quite simply. Um, we can change it to um, a sepia effect. There we go, makes it look like a really old image. And turn it into a negative if you want. Bump. And there we go. I don't know how to reverse that other than uh, clicking off it and saying no to the changes. That's it. So, there we go. Simple to uh, sort of get your head around anyway. Um, on the effects, we can uh, we can put border effects on. We can do frames. We can do watermarks. Um, a bump map. I'm not sure what a bump map is, to be honest. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so it's more like um, uh, carving than anything else. Let's put this flower up and do the uh, bump map on that. And as you can see, that gives you actually quite a nice image there. Change the lighting. Yes, very nice feature. Okay, we'll cancel that. So there's something learned new every day, as they say. Um, a sketch. There we go, that's the sketching part. Interesting stuff. Um, I shan't save the changes. Uh, other effects, oil painting. I don't know why I've only got this little... All oh right, here we go. There we go. Um, yeah, so there's many other effects there. Lens effect. Don't know quite what that would do. Oh, right, okay. Very interesting. I suppose if we go to full screen preview, we'll be able to see. Uh oh, we can't see the control handles now, can we? Okay. Yeah, okay, that's an uh, interesting little uh, add-on there with the effects. Um, the view menu, we can do full screen, we can do uh, certain layout, browser left, browser right, etc. Um, the browser style, thumbnail view, it's and preview view, obviously. Uh, these are all the different um, bits and pieces. We can do a histogram in here, if you know how these work, then uh, you can obviously play around quite... Uh, there's a histogram of the red in that picture and the green quite high content and blue um, not so much um, I know that there's uh, some programs like uh, Photoshop for example which um, I know that Adobe have re 
changed all their ways. You can't just buy the program out now. You have to um, spend quite a bit from eight eight pound a month to sixty five pound a month. Uh, the one I looked at, we're using the complete Photoshop with Lightroom, etc. Um, that's forty five pound a month. Well, that actually equates to just under five hundred and fifty pound a year. And to me, that seems a lot of a waste of money when a program like um, Faststone here. Um, with all the features that I've shown you so far, and I haven't covered all of them, is totally free of charge. There's no charge for this at all. And certainly it's got a lot in it that um, more expensive programs have got. Um, we can tag files, we can untag files, we can do a whole lot of tagging on pictures. Uh, we can add to favourites and we can organise folders in this program. We can re create slideshows, we can build a slideshow in here, we can have uh, a multi-page file builder and an image strip builder, so there's loads of things that you can do. Again, to do all this would take forever to show you in detail. Uh, we can do batch conversions of se selected images, we can rename selected images, so if you've got a camera uh, which is like mine, it's put in DSC F0770 JPEG, you could convert a whole lot of them and put them into a sequence a se uh, well a sequential uh, number system that you've created yourself rather than relying on just what comes out the camera it's very confusing especially if you've got maybe two cameras similar that have a similar naming uh, structure inside um, you can rotate uh, JPEG pictures now sometimes with programs um, if you rotate a JPEG you can lose some of the quality that's there um, so it's uh, nice to know you've got a program that won't lose any of the quality of the picture and this is that program. Um, you can remove the JPEG metadata so the, it makes it a smaller file in, in, in essence. Uh, you can compare a couple of images together and also do wallpaper. You can set anywhere on the desktop, set as a wallpaper generally or clear the desktop, whichever. Uh, settings, fairly straightforward. You've got choice of languages there. Uh, English, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czechoslovakian, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, Korean, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Swedish and Ukrainian. Probably that covers most of the world I should think. Um, and it's also, you can change the skin, you can make it look like a Windows 98 program or a Windows XP program, anything you really like. Um, you can even make it look like a Mac system. Uh, you can have a database of your thumbnails and also you've got your settings which you can change ad infinitum. One of the most important things on here is the download tutorial where if you click on that it's a uh, 95 page uh, J uh, JPEG, it's a 95 page PDF uh, document which covers pretty much everything I've spoken about and it covers it in detail and again if you're looking for a program to do your pictures with and you're looking for a program which will um, enhance your photography then uh, this could be the one for you. The images are clear, they're easy to select. Um, what more can I say? It's just it's a pleasure to use it actually. And uh, there we go. Lots to learn about it and I would suggest as usual that on this particular occasion you download the uh, manual. If you want my advice and somebody says, well, which is the best to use, uh, whether it's Adobe or whether it's um, a free one like this or even PaintShop Pro, I've got a copy of PaintShop Pro X6 um, in the house, which I use rarely because it seems overcomplicated for some of the things it does. Um, I've got a copy of PaintShop Pro 6, um, which I've had since uh, Windows XP days and it does work well. Um, I can click on Windows XP, sorry, Windows XP, I win click on PaintShop Pro and I can, uh, I, I can find what I want and work my way around. It's even got the, uh, the help system working now, which I get an error with, but that's not the problem. I can still actually uh, use the help system now um, that runs with the old PaintShop. So there we are. There's our... Um, a little freebie for today if you want which is called Faststone. I'll put the information about the program up at the end of the program. It's 
potentially advertise itself as an image viewer but uh, it's to my mind is a complete painting package that you could use quite simply and once you get to know how it works I'm sure this will be an asset to most photographers. Anyway, that's the end of the demonstration. If you enjoyed it, um, then please subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up. Um, if you haven't enjoyed it, then give me a thumbs up and we'll look into it later on. But please subscribe to the channel and, as usual, feel free to leave comments um, on the comments bar. Most of all, thank you for listening.